All right, so here's how we're going to foam roll a calf tissue. Keep in mind, the calf does not only go up and down as far as fiber orientation, but it also goes diagonal and oblique. So we're gonna make sure we get all the fibers here, not just the up and down ones. Um, so we got our calf on the foam roller here. We're just gonna gently rock back and forth here using our arms and our hips to generate some force. If that's too painful for your ribs or your wrist, just put your hands onto your uh, leg like so and rock back and forth. It makes it a little bit, uh, there's less pressure there, but it's a lot easier on your wrist. And if your wrists are bothered from doing this motion, just go to that one. We're gonna go back to here. After we do a few passes back and forth, I want you to make sure you bring your toe towards your shin and we're gonna take our ankle and rock it back and forth like so, okay? So we have a few back and forth pass with our toe and our calf. After we get down to that, then we're gonna take our calf and go side to side. So we're gonna roll it this way, up and down the tissue. You're gonna feel some sticky spots depending on what you got going on in, in your anatomy. We're rocking back and forth here. I wanna put more pressure onto it. I simply lift my hips up and then go back and forth this way, up and down, back and forth. But this way, we're gonna hit all uh, fiber types of the tissue and not just the ones back and forth. So that's how you properly foam roll your calf complex um, in your lower leg.